This video is being done in order to demonstrate the Crescent Design Compliance Test Fixture System. Compliance Test Fixture for measuring the diameter balloon at a, at a given pressure. It is composed of the Crescent Design Hydraulic Burst Leak Tester. In this case, we're using a Model 1000 XV, but it could be any Crescent Design HBLT. It will work with any model. Uh, we're using a laptop here because it's convenient and it's running Crescent Design's Lab Genie software. We have the Crescent Design position controller here, which is connected to this linear slide right here. It also has a manual pendant for controlling this slide uh, for certain operations. We've mounted on this position controller the Keyens optical micrometer. This, this model is the 7070 meaning 70 millimeters is its uh, window aperture. And it's connected to the Keyence controller, the LS7601. You'll notice that in this case, it has a uh, camera in it. We'll be able to see the balloon and that's necessary so that the operator can position the micrometer at the, the appropriate target on the balloon. We've mounted the 14 inch water bath on it. We have different size water baths, but this one happens to be the 14 inch water bath and it has the optional balloon holder head on it. I'm going to position it in the up position. You'll notice it has some fixturing here for holding uh, balloon catheters, but we also have tooling fixturing for raw balloons as well. The water in here is being circulated with our recirculator, heater circulator which has a digital temp controller so that the temperature is, is tightly regulated and circulated through the bath here. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you how it is used in a pretty, pretty simple test. We're going to, uh, we've created a script that will take three measurements along the balloon at three different target pressures. So I'm going to go through that with you. So first, I'm going to take this catheter. Now this catheter is just a generic cath catheter we had lying around and we've already prepped it as you would by removing the air and replacing it at least partially with, uh, with water. And I'm going to insert it in the, in the fixture here, like so, and kind of get it centered. And then we can unlock it and just lower it down into the water bath. Right? Okay, so we're now going to run Lab Genie script and what we see on the screen right now is a, the results of a previous test and we're going to simply start a new one. I hit the start button. No, I don't want to save this information. Uh, up in the corner it shows that it's connected to the various external devices and the HBLT is now preparing itself internally for the test. So the script has started. We can see that in the message here. And what we, the script that we've created allows uh, or provides an input screen in this case for the target positions along the balloon. We've allowed 10 positions. It could be more, it could be less, completely arbitrary. And given that this balloon is about 90 millimeters long, I've selected these arbitrary targets of 15, 45, and 75 for the distal, medial, and proximal position of the balloon. And there, we've already loaded that in there. You could change these if you wish uh, at any time if they are acceptable at the beginning of the test, you simply say OK. okay. The next input window is fill the following pressure targets in the ATM. This particular script is set for atmospheres, but it can be set for other engineering units as well. In this case, we have, up, again, up to 10 different pressure targets, a total of 10. We've only chosen the first three. Could be more, could be less. I've chosen something simple, one atmosphere, two atmospheres, and three atmospheres for this particular balloon. And I'm going to say OK. 
It is now filling the balloon. Okay, in our message screen now, the balloon is full. It says adjust the left starting position and press A to start. So on the manual pendant that I told you about earlier, we have a knob and we can move the uh, slide mechanism left or right. And just for demonstration purpose, I'm going to move it a little bit to the left. And you can see on the display on the Keyence controller, the, the green line is the target. And I'm going to say, well, I'm going to go a little more. And I'm going to say, I want it right there. OK. And now it's ready, and I hit the green A button. And that starts the actual test. So it's resetting to what it calls the origin, which is, the, in this case, the adjustable starting position. And so it's going to the first location, then to the medial location, and now to the proximal location at one atmosphere. And it took a diameter measurement at each stop. Now it's going to run again. In this case, it increases the pressure to two atmospheres. And once again, goes to the three different positions on the balloon completely automatically and takes those measurements. Okay, we are increasing to three atmospheres now. We go to the distal location, medial location, and now the proximal location, the final location for this test. It now returns to the origin, the original starting position, and the pressure returns to zero, and the test is complete. Now you'll notice on the screen, we now have the report. The report is organized so that it shows the first column is the uh, pressure in atmospheres. The second column is the measurement, the, the location from the starting point or origin. And the third is the actual diameter. And you can see here that um, in the case of, the, of one atmosphere, the distal diameter was just over 17, the medial was 16.68, and the proximal was 16.68. And then we repeated this for two atmospheres and three atmospheres. Uh, this report is uh, completely uh, customizable, so it can present it uh, in, in many different ways. Uh, and this is, as you can see, the system is completely automatic and uh, uh, speeds the process greatly. Thanks very much for watching.